My family has had a motto. Someone would complain about, I can't go out to school today because I'm sick. And my dad's response would be, you can't hurt steel. I was very active growing up, did a lot of sports, played football. Uh, my family has a long line of military service, uh, specifically the Marine Corps. While I was in the Marine Corps, I got married to my wife, Chris. Life couldn't have been more perfect. We had just had James. He was one years old. We had moved to Florida. JJ had a job that he absolutely loved. We were living what people would consider as the American dream. May of 2014, I started to feel what felt like a very deep anxiety attack and I knew something was, was wrong with me because it just kept getting worse. And at that point, my ability to speak began to go away. My phone rang and I saw it was JJ's number on my caller ID. And I answered it and a woman's voice was on the phone. She was a paramedic, she was with JJ. He had had a grand mal seizure. They started doing tests. They weren't gonna do an MRI initially. However, my wife, Chris, pushed them very heavily to do an MRI. The neurologist came back in and looked at us, and I'll never forget the look on his face when he told us, you have two lesions in your left temporal lobe. Grade four glioblastoma multiform, which is uh, one of the, if not the deadliest form of brain cancer that exists. The neurosurgeon who conducted the biopsy said that the, the cancer was inoperable. You have four months to live. In a best case scenario, you may get a year. And that was it, he walked away. When a week, week before that, you were running, you were having fun, you were hanging out with your kid and your wife, you were working and everything seemed fine. And all of a sudden, a man comes in and says, you're gonna die. You don't just accept it because someone said it. We had one doctor that told us that go home enjoy the time you have left. And yet another doctor said, we got this, no problem, we'll get it out. He had the surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering and he had an amazing neurosurgeon. They monitored to see if he was having seizures that we just couldn't see. Over the next 24 hours, he had nine more seizures. So by the time that was done, he couldn't talk at all. Would this be easier if I just gave up? If I just said, this is too much of a burden on my family, the pain is difficult, I don't want to deal with this, what if I just said I had enough and ended it? I would be okay that next day because I would be gone. I wouldn't feel the pain, I wouldn't feel the emotion. They do. My wife would feel it for the rest of her life. My son would not have one more day to spend with me. No matter how bad those days were, we had to fight for James. James makes us stronger. I still have cancer today. I still have active cancer cells. I, I'm still on chemo. And I have people say all the time, you don't look like it. You don't look like you have active cancer. It's because every single part of my day, I spend towards improving my ability to live. I followed the, the Brittany Maynard case. To a certain extent, I could identify with what she was dealing with. Same disease roughly the same age, both had families, but I don't agree with what she chose to do. You can't unmake that choice. Once, once you do it, it's done. Unless a cure is found, the disease will come back. When and how, I don't know. My hope and my fight is to keep it at bay for as long as possible. I'd say my biggest fear with assisted suicide is that a patient will go to a doctor who already views them as a terminal patient and sees little hope for anything else, any other treatment options, any other um, outcomes other than death. Chris has saved my life. And she did that while being a mother, while paying the bills. I didn't have to ask for it. I didn't have to need it. She did it because she loved me and she's my best friend. And I couldn't imagine being with anybody else besides her. You are more my hero now than I ever thought possible. And I love you and you're my best friend. 
Every single day is a gift. And you can't let that go.